Hi everyone. So I recently updated, actually yesterday I updated the set family relationships mod, but it's been giving you some trouble. So I want to show you a little behind the scenes um, testing as we look at see the mod and make sure it's working now. So I did a few changes behind the scenes. So I'm going to open my game and we're going to take a look at the mod. Now currently I have the set family relationships package the computer add-on and the relationships panel add-on which allows you to add relationships from the panel and i have the ml injector script um, file that we need that's all you need in your mods folder and once you do that uh, we're going to start the game and see how it works okay so we're back in the game i randomly selected the bff household and i'm now going to take a look at the mod so this, uh, let's see, we're going to click on Travis, open STEM profile. Okay, right now they're just acquaintances. So I'm going to click on Travis with Liberty selected. And we have our set family and none family relationships menu, which is perfect. I'm going to click on that, click add family relationships and click add cousin. Okay, let's go back here and open some profile again. Okay, the relationship was added. Okay, that's working now correctly. Let's go back to the menu. This time, let's click remove, remove cousin. Okay, let's see if that's working. Okay, it's gone. Okay, so that's working. Let's go to summer. And let's just pick this one randomly, daughter-in-law. Okay, that's not working. So this is where we start to investigate what's going on. So I'm going to pull up the Sims for studio and open it okay and let's go to the sims 4 folder and let's open up our package okay so this is just a little behind the scenes of how we investigate when things are not working correctly so this is an interaction and the interaction was to add the daughter-in-law relationship so let's take a look here we are let's see okay so aha so this is what the issue is so in order to add the relationships there is what's called the loop or action and here we have the loop that's being added so this is the number and we want to make sure that this corresponds to the action. Again, the, uh, this may sound a little bit or look a little bit complicated, but just to show you behind the scenes, I'm now going to look at type actions. And we're going to look for this number and make sure it corresponds with adding the daughter-in-law. So that's the phone one. Let's scroll a little bit up. Here we go, daughter-in-law and son-in-law. So let's look at this and go to data and see the number. Okay, so the number correctly corresponds. So something else is causing the relationship not to correctly be added. So let's see here, these are the different relationships. Okay, and relationships behind the scenes, we can look at the numbers as well. Okay, your data, and we see your number. Okay, so that means something else is happening behind the scenes, if, since that relationship isn't working. Let's take a look at some of the other relationships to see if they're working correctly. Okay, that's not working. Let's take a look at Aunt Uncle. Okay, so that one is working. So now, we have to try to figure out why the particular relationship we're trying to add is not adding. So let us add step sibling. Let's see if that works. Okay, that works. Let's go to great grandparent. Let's see if that works. Okay, so now is where we go behind the scenes to figure out what's not working and how we can add it correctly. Okay, so I think I tracked down what the issue is. It looks like 
this new version of my constructor when it exports it first i have to change it export it what used to be immediate interactions as super interactions which is the technical term within the sims um the coding so i changed that and that is adding the relationships that are already in the game but my relationships that are custom are not adding so what i'm going to do is use sims 4 studio and i'm exporting the cousin relationship just to compare it to my relationship okay so this is what the relationship looks like for cousin and this is what it looks like for my modded version when i have things like ancestor daughter son-in-law so you'll see if we kind of line these up a little bit it's missing a lot of the coding that is showing so what i need to do is um as far as depth it's missing um display name which it should be showing it's showing name instead of display name okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go behind the scenes and kind of copy and paste some of these things over and then i'm going to go back in the game and see if that fixes the issue okay so now i'm jump back in the game i did some copy and pasting behind the scenes and now let's take a look and see if that helped okay so let's go to set relationships and let's just choose adopted child so let's see open nope still not working okay let's try another one that's custom okay that's not adding so now we go back and try a few more changes 